In this video, we are going to talk about how to review the performance and to optimize the furnace. At the beginning, at the top of the Aspen Heises uh, uh, page, you will have a flow sheet and you can go to parent. If we go to parent again, you will have this sulfur unit flow sheet. After entering here, this will appear the sulfur recovery unit. If we want to review the performance of this unit, here you have a performance summary. If we click it, there will be a summary of all the performance, especially the conversions that happen. Okay, if we look here, this is one, you will find as the conversion of this unit is for the thermal uh, 69, we mentioned before it's between 60 and 70. The catalytic conversion of the first one is 60, 40 and uh, 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 64 and this is for the second one the second conversion or the catalytic conversion is 58 okay uh, this is the conversion in present also you have the total conversion okay which means at the end of the day you will converge here you are converging for everyone for each one but this one this is the total conversion that happened which means if you enter with one uh, with one kilogram of H2S, the total conversion is 95%. Okay, this is the recovery in percent, and most of the time we are asked about this recovery. Okay, and the total recovery this is a recovery, this is actually a high recovery for the first two, and this one is acceptable. Um, here there is a hydrolysis for both COS and CS2. This might affect the catalyst, okay? But here it's not uh, applicable. Here, this is the hydrolysis. For the production, here you have a conversion. This amount, okay? This is kilogram per hour, and this is the uh, conversion. But this time, this is the total conversion, kilogram per hour, okay? So this is the performance summary and how we get it. And actually, the these units are doing well. But we can improve it by improving the performance here of the furnace. As we mentioned before, the, the oxygen amount should be controlled because it affects the total conversion percent. In this case, we are going to add, we here we press F4, and in this case, we are going to add ADA or air demand analyzer. This one to control the flow or to optimize the flow of the air. Uh, which will burn here uh, H2S and convert it to SO2. Okay, so double click here. We know that our sample stream or the stream that we want to uh, optimize the airflow is, is this one. We have a furnace outlet, okay, and the target here is zero. Target value for the air demand it optimized until there is no difference. Okay. And here we are talking about furnace 100. After choosing it, it will be automatically defined. Okay. Now, if we go back to the performance summary and we click it on, here you will find out that there is a change in the performance. Okay. So here we are talking about train furnace number uh, 100, and here there is some change in the number. Okay and we find out that there is this number is less than the previous one okay so here you can customize to choose whatever you want and in this case we don't want to keep this one uh, you can delete it or okay if you delete this one it will be like this okay in this case uh, apparently we have already optimized the oxygen amount and the overall performance was improved okay so now we are going to ask some questions related to um, the, the air demand okay can we add another the air demand because this one we have a question related to it this is related to the furnace and the target must be zero and you have to adjust it to furnace number 100 okay if we double click here and we go to parameters here you will have a tolerance, the minimum and the maximum flow, and here you can monitor the change. And if you have any variables, you can enter it here. Okay, these also are the connections here. Option 
uh, stop at maximum okay but we didn't stop here it should do whatever it can to optimize the oxygen or the airflow this is the first one if we are asked about the sulfur recovery efficiency in the thermal stage condenser so this is the thermal stage condenser a uh, condenser this one but this is the thermal stage it consists of one two three okay here we are asked about the condenser double click to open it and now we are asked about the sulfur re recovery most of the time we go to the performance okay you will find here the sulfur recovery here as a percent it's 99.77 percent this is true um, you have recovered from the first stage this number okay uh, after that if you are asked about what is the sulfur recovery efficiency of the first stage of the condenser okay this is um, what is the sulfur recovery efficiency of the first stage condenser okay so okay so this is our condenser of the first stage in the catalytic and the performance you will find out that the sulfur recovery efficiency is 99.14 and this is the second one we have we have, uh, are not asked about it but let's check the efficiency it will be 97.90 okay this is uh, far less than the first stage okay also sometimes we are asked about um, our gas uh, here if you are have this is your air to furnace you are asked about the flow rate okay whatever the unit you are asked so this is meter meter cube uh, per hour and you can find also different flow rates like the molar or the mass um, what else anyways most of the cases you should go to the sulfur recovery performance summary and most of the questions could be answered from the performance summary here okay because here you talk about the conversion the recovery okay and it's also worth mentioning that the recovery decreases okay it's, this is this makes sense because in the thermal you have most of the sulfur compound source but or the feed but after that it decreases and if we have another conversion here you will find out that the recovery will also decrease 